Biggest housing bubble ever recorded in human history. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you, give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Welcome to the show. Hope everybody's doing great. So welcome to the biggest artificially induced housing bubble ever recorded in human history. Overnight appreciation to never seen before highs. This thing has danger written all over it. But here's the thing, friends. I really want to communicate this today because I believe it is so, so very important. You have to know the waters you're swimming in, swimming in now. We actually have the biggest artificially induced housing bubble ever recorded in human history right in front of our very eyes. Almost 50% appreciation overnight with zero organic growth. Those are the facts. I am purely stating the facts, friends. So my job, hopefully, is to protect you as we raise awareness, ring the bell, sound the alarm, let people know the biggest bubble in world history might not, might not be able to sustain itself. Many would say absolutely there's no chance for it to, to save itself. I mean, you just can't do that to the biggest asset class on planet Earth. That's the waters we're swimming in. That's the game of roulette we're now playing. You are playing with the biggest asset class in the world, the U.S. housing market, U.S. real estate market. And we're already seeing the U.S. the U.S. real estate market have, showing its cracks. Where are you guys? Well, of course, I'm going to tell you. Commercial real estate is on life support. Cities, all our biggest cities around America are falling apart. Stores are are moving out. These are vacant commercial spaces, bohemoths, bohemoth properties, cities in crisis. Whew, ins <laughs> insanity, this stuff, right? That we have to unpackage. But that's really, I really can't communicate this more, more sternly. Sternly enough to let you guys know. I mean, you really have to have your eyes wide open. You do not want to be a deer in the headlights right about now. And millions Tens of millions of people did what? You guessed it. They bought in the biggest housing bubble ever recorded in human history. How do I know that, you ask? Well, first of all, the data's in. But second of all, I've, I've been helping a bunch of you do that. And that's my job, like I was about to say. I have to protect you so we understand the waters we're swimming in. Listen, there's always going to be risk. There's no slam dunks in real estate. I will take a hit in the next real estate downturn. And I didn't say if there's an, another, if there's a real estate downturn, I said when, when, because it's not if, it's purely when. Why you ask? Because we've always had them throughout recorded history, real estate downturns. But here's the challenge, challenging part about this, friends. See, because now we're playing, we're not playing with the crypto market. We're not playing with commodities. We're not playing even in the stock market. This is real estate. It will collapse the economy. And this is, this is the part that scares me the most, friends. Overnight appreciation, 50%, 46% appreciation nationally on a national average. Some areas had over that. Some had under. The national average, 46%. You, you can't hope for that in your lifetime. You can, you can hope for that type of appreciation in a person's lifetime. My parents didn't enjoy fit. Well, actually, maybe they did. But the reality is, I mean, that's how much you would really have to wait a lifetime. We had it in two, three, four years. And it's still, well, it's not raging on. It's now hit its crest. It's, it's reversing course. But now we're in suspended animation. We are in suspended animation. Let's just cut to the chase. That's exactly where we're at now. Suspended animation with the housing market. We are dancing on the razor's edge, we are playing with a house of cards. It's one hiccup away from a full-blown collapse. And after the political um, event that we just had, uh, that could have easily been the pinprick to, to just ignite. Because with cities already in crisis, you throw in some civil un unrest, it just changes the narrative all over again. This is real. This is realistic scenario stuff. But even that aside, I always talk about, you know, throw the dart at the proverbial economic challenge map or social challenge map or political challenge map. You're hitting something threatening the good old US of A. And that's going to come down to the housing market. It always 
circles back to the housing market. Think back of any time in history that we've had anything go on of any significance. The housing market always finds itself in the headlines. Why, you ask her? How do I know that, you ask? Of course, I'm going to tell you. Because that's what it did in the crisis. It led the charge. It led the charge. Gosh. You know, I want to give a shout out to my friend Dan, I allegedly, and all you two, all, all you watching today. If you're new, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. You guys know I've been going through, I think it's called long haul um, COVID or something. Oh my gosh, insane. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for for bearing with me as I navigate through this. But I also want to give my good friend Dan at I allegedly a shout out. He checks in on me. Michael Bordenero, he checks in on me. Travis, the real estate mindset. Luke from Market Mania. Todd from Todd and Sachs. Thank you guys for continuing to check in on me and all my fans to just, gosh, I love you guys so very much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But the reality is this, friends. I was going to say Dan over at I allegedly, because he was probably the big first big YouTuber that found me when I was at 5,000 subscribers and came here to where I live here in Southern California. We're only a few hours apart, actually, and interviewed with me. And it was great. And he was one of the guys that I saw first raising, ringing the bell, sounding the alarm, reading between the lines, looking between the cracks, right? And uh, it lit a fire under me. It lit a fire under me. And I've always loved, loved, loved sales. I'm a salesman. I'm a licensed real estate agent. Um, and... <laughs> I just had no problem turning the camera on myself, but I saw that moment of clarity, that aha moment when I saw the real estate market firsthand, because at first when lockdowns took place, we were all stuck at home. Real estate agents, we thought we were done. We thought we were gone, gone, gone. And it was like hitting the lottery. I'm an essential worker. Oh, and by the way, we've dropped interest rates and lockdown orders are pretty much still in effect. So we're just going to drive up prices overnight. Oh, and the buyer demand is going to be insane. Your phone is going to ring off the hook. You will have offers before you get a sign in the yard. You will have overprice, uh, uh, over asking price offers, and they're going to waive contingencies. They're going to come in heavy. Whew. Who thought this was normal? And that was the part I think that bothered me the most. <laughs> Is I've been on so many open houses and held so many open houses and done for, I mean, I came up the hard way. I worked for the biggest agent in town, multi-billion dollar agent, gnarly stuff. This billion dollar agent ran me through the ringer. And I'd see these agents acting like this was normal. This is normal. Oh, they so important now. Oh my gosh, I just can't be part of this. I have to go against the grain on this one. And I know, I remember early on, like, aren't you a real estate agent? Why are you acting like this? Like, you're a real estate agent. You don't, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not here to talk people out of buying or selling houses. I don't care. I don't care what you do. My job is to protect you if you do. And that's why, <laughs> that's why I'm buttoning this thing up. The realities are this. You, you're living in the biggest artificially induced housing bubble ever recorded in world history. Overnight appreciation was zero organic growth. Those are the facts. This was not organic growth. It needed a crisis to deliver it. It delivered. And now we're seeing the fractures, like I said. So if and when you decide to buy or sell, my job is to give you straight talk like you've never heard out of a salesman before to put your needs before my own. Whew. Insanity, right? Insanity. And that's what I've been doing since day one of this channel, putting your needs before my own. Do sometimes I come on and lay it on thick? Probably. Do sometimes, do, am I a salesman? Do I sell it? Probably. But that's just the realities are, this is the truth. What I'm speaking, the heart will, the mouth will speak what the heart is full of. I've learned that. I've learned a lot of things, right? I've learned a lot of things the hard way. I have been in the trenches of life before, not even in business, but in life. I understand. And I just recently went through a massive one. I give all credit to God because I don't know how I do this on my own. I have no idea. This has been an amazing journey, an amazing journey indeed. And final thoughts I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a real estate guy that wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understand the biggest artificially induced housing bubble ever witnessed in human history might not sustain itself. It's your job to expect the, unexpe the unexpected, to navigate the waters that you're currently swimming in, friends, because they're shark infested, to make sure you're in the hands 
of an agent that's willing to put your needs before their own. There's a lot of smart ways to buy right now. I could I'll watch future videos. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, and I've been helping a lot of you buy and sell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you need help, reach out to me. I'll get you help. Find me on social media, inbox me there, email in the description, whatever you need to do. You get a hold of me and we'll kick some tires, shake the trees, and throw some offers or get you on the market and off the market as quickly as humanly possible. Those are the things that we have to do now. But understand this, friends. Understand this one right now. 46% appreciation in the housing market in just a couple years is dangerous. As much as I, I own real estate, I don't even look at its value. I don't really care. I have an idea. But I don't want to know because I know it was artificial growth. Now, my property is income property. I, it pencils out. It delivers. Does what I need it to do. But I bought in the 08 bubble and it left a bad taste in my mouth. So uh, nobody took care of me. Nobody got walked right into a, the slaughter, like a sheep going into the slaughter. And I learned a lot from that one. And that's why I'm here. And I'm going to continue to blow the lid off this thing every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. Appreciate the content. I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there. Along with the links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It would be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience as always. Thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. God bless. I'll see you on the next video. If you need help buying or selling real estate, email scottwaltersrealestate at gmail.com.